Hey guys, it's the Lynch Mobster again, and today's video I'm going to be talking about games coming out later this year. Uh, the games I'm looking at right now are Dead Island, Resident Evil, uh, Operation Raccoon City, uh, Modern Warfare 3, and Battlefield 3. Now the reason I'm bringing these up is because at the end of this year, um, I know not everyone's going to have a whole bunch of money to go out and spend $60 on four different games. Um, so those are the big games I'm talking about. Uh, we have Modern Warfare and Battlefield. Those are two big first-person shooters that are going to be fighting each other this year uh, to see who's going to be king of first-person shooter. And then for zombie games, we have Resident Evil, Operation Raccoon City, and Dead Island. Now, for me, I already have my choices chosen for those. Uh, I've been a long-time Call of Duty fan. Not really a long time. I mean, I played the other ones, but I'm stuck mostly with World at War. World at War was the first one I purchased. But I started with two. I played the first one after I played the second one. Um, I played all those on the PC. And then I bought World at War for my PS3. Uh, pretty much the day it came out. Because I love World War II. And that was going to be the last World War II game that Call of Duty was ever going to do. Um, and then I've also been a long time Battlefield fan. I started with Battlefield 2. I used to play that on the PC all the time. But when Bad Company came out, I was excited for the first one. And then the second came out. I didn't really care. I didn't really care to play Battlefield. Um, I played it. I didn't buy it, but I didn't really care to purchase it. Um, Battlefield 1943, I really liked. I think they did a good job recreating Battlefield 1942. I think it was. Yeah, 42. Um, updating it and releasing a few maps. Um, and then in terms of zombie games, I've been a long time Resident Evil fan. I started with the very first one. That was pretty much... That was one of the first next generation games ever played. Um, when I was a kid I mostly played Atari 2600 and then from there I went from Atari 2600 to PS1 um, and then we got a Genesis so I had a huge leap. I went from Atari to PlayStation which was crazy um, and the first games I played on that were Resident Evil, Metal Gear and Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Those were the first games I ever played. Now Resident Evil I loved. I've played every single Resident Evil up to now um, I have to say 5 was a big disappointment. I didn't really like 5. It felt like they were just trying to do 4 all over again. So, I mean, it was fun to play with a friend online or split screen. I love to do that. That's fun. I mean, popping a game, if I can play it with a friend on the couch, it's awesome. I'll play it. But 5 wasn't really what I wanted in a Resident Evil game. And Operation Raccoon City looks really good. It looks promising. It has Leon. Leon's my favorite character. And it looks promising, but I don't know if it's going to be that $60 experience that I'm going to want to spend money on. Now, also releasing later this year is an, a touched-up HD version of Resident Evil 4. It's coming to the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Resident Evil 4, I've purchased a copy to every single system it's been released. I first got it when it came out on the GameCube. In fact, that's the only reason I bought a GameCube. I bought a GameCube and then went and bought Resident Evil 4. And then after that, they re-released it on the PS2. I went out and bought it. And then they re-released it on PC. I went out and I bought that. And I was hoping that they were going to do it to the PS3 because I want to play it in HD because that game was awesome. Resident Evil 4 was so much fun. I've beaten that game countless times. I can't even remember how many times I've beaten it. I've, I've beaten it well over 100 because... When you save it um, in the corner of the typewriter screen, it'll tell you how many times you've beaten the game. And I beat it 99 times on five different save slots. I just started a new save slot after I beat it 99 times. I never did the rollover. I don't know why. I don't know if it would roll over, um, but I might go back and try that out. Um, I might do that when they release it on the PS3 and 360. Um, but the big game, the big zombie games that are coming down to are going to be Dead Island and Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Now for me personally, I'm looking really forward to Dead Island. I mean, it's an open world sandbox game with zombies. And it's going to be up to four player co-op. That's crazy. That is going to be awesome. And it's just going to be pure zombies, all that. Just go on an island, try and survive, try and get off, try and save people. Good fun. Resident Evil, they haven't revealed much. All that they've revealed is that they're going back to the original storyline of Resident Evil, where Leon's first showing up. And it shows some sort of secret service working for Umbrella that have to kill Leon. I don't know. It looked weird. It looked like it was going to be first person. From what it sounded like, it sounded like it was going to be first person. But from everything they've shown, it's all third person. So I guess we'll just see until later this year. But for me, Dead Island, that's the one I'm going to get. Now for first person shooters, uh, for Call of Duty and Battlefield, 
I'm not really a fan anymore. Black Ops was it for me. Black Ops was the last Call of Duty game I bought, and it will probably be the last one I buy because I've never gotten into the Modern Warfare series. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I played the multiplayer. I just didn't really like the campaign, and I, I really like to play campaigns and games. That's what I buy games for. I don't buy it just for multiplayer. Now, if I was just a multiplayer fan, well, maybe I would have liked the Modern Warfare games, but I buy the Call of Duties mostly for the story. That's debatable because I know a lot of people say they have terrible stories, but that's a different... That's a different topic altogether. Um, so I'm not real excited for Modern Warfare 3. It looks interesting. It looks crazy. The graphics are amazing. The the screens look awesome. The combat looks crazy. I'll give it a try. I'll pick it up and try it. But I'm not going to rush out to the store and spend $60 on it. And Battlefield 3 looks really good. It looks crazy. Um... I have an invitation to the beta when I bought Medal of Honor. I have no idea when they're going to do that beta. They haven't announced anything. I'm kind of disappointed because I was supposed to get an email and with information. It's getting close. I mean, it's coming out at the end of this year, and that's going to come up really close. So I hope they get information out there. So for those two, I don't know what to decide which one I prefer because I'm not super excited to run out to the store and buy one of them because I don't have all that much money. So I'm looking more forward to the zombie games. But I want to know your opinion. What games are you guys looking forward to? Are you looking forward for Modern Warfare 3? Battlefield 3? What about zombie games? Are you excited for Dead Island? Are you excited for Resident Evil? And, I just remembered, uh, let's not forget they're re-releasing Dead Rising 2. Capcom's going to be re-releasing Dead Rising 2 where you get to play as Frank West. Are you excited for that? Are you disappointed? I remember I bought Dead Rising 2 the day it came out. I beat that game so many times. I love that game. That game was a ton of fun. Making custom weapons, running around, getting syringes for your daughter. The game was addicting. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the same game with Frank West because I really connected with Chuck. I liked having to take care of his daughter and running around. Um, but I just want to know what you think. What do you think? What zombie game are you excited for? What first person shooter game are you excited for? And what else are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to Uncharted 3. I went down and paid it all off uh, just last week, and I'm really excited for that. So, are you excited for Dead Island? Are you excited for Operation Raccoon City? Are you excited for Dead Rising 2? Off the record, are you excited for Modern Warfare 3? Are you excited for Battlefield 3? What game are you looking forward to? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.